this car that you want to put the F1 wheels on and of course an F1 car. Once you have both of those we are pretty much ready so we're now going to get into the car that we want to put the F1 wheels on and we're going to drive it outside. Now that we're outside we're going to go ahead and drive back inside. This is then going to automatically take us out of the car and we're now going to get inside of the F1 car instead. When inside we're then going to press the button in the top left to modify the vehicle. Once you're able to, you're then going to go into the wheels category, go into wheel colour and select any random colour, it doesn't matter which one it is. For example, I went for red. We're now either going to press start on your controller or P on your keyboard, go to online and we're going to find a new session. As expected, this will then load you into a new session. You'll now notice that the car that we want to put the F1 wheels on is actually outside if you go ahead and check your map. At this point we're going to open up our interaction menu, go into vehicles and we're going to return our personal vehicle to storage. This is actually going to put a duplicate F1 car instead of your actual car. So we're now going to close the interaction menu and get into this duplicate F1 car. Once inside, we're then going to go ahead and modify it like we did before. This time though, we're going to go ahead and make the wheels the way you want them on your actual car. So go ahead and pick your wheel type, wheel colour and the tyre enhancements if you want those. Just as a side note, you are actually able to change the colour of the wheels later on if you want to. But once you've made your selection and you're happy, you're going to press back to exit the modification menu. This is then going to put you back into your parking space and you're going to exit the car. Now press the start button, go to the online tab and we're going to start up the creator. This is then going to load up the creator menu a few seconds later. Once it does, we're going to go to create a race and select tutorial and you're then going to press yes on this alert. You'll then be brought to a screen similar to this one, it doesn't have to be the same one so don't worry if it isn't. Now press the start button or the P key once again, go back over to online and go to play GTA online. However this time we're going to go into an invite only session. When you eventually load back into your session, you'll then notice that you now have the F1 wheels on your car. We're not done just yet though, so keep on watching. We're now going to get into the car and we're going to modify it. At this point all you need to do is go ahead and make sure that you change at least one thing on this car to make sure that it saves. For example, I just went and changed the tint of my windows. Like I said previously, you can then go ahead and change the wheel colour if you aren't too happy with the choice that you made in the first place. You can now repeat the glitch to go and put the F1 wheels onto any of your other personal vehicles. But that is pretty much it, so thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.